I'm transitioning to glasses, so I don't know whether to go off the cuff or um, put them on. I think I'll, I'll go off the cuff a little bit because uh, there's a little bit more passion tonight in, in what I want to talk about because it's been a tough year, absolutely. Um, but we've worked bloody hard and there's been a bit of resilience going on that I think it's worth acknowledging. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate Russell, um, Tam, Amy and Emily. Um, from a personal note, mate, I, I really appreciate our friendship, uh, the connection you've brought to me and our family, uh, the footy club. Um, it's been first class. You've done a tremendous job. You've seen a lot of success. Um, and thank you personally, mate, for everything you've done for me and the footy club. So round of applause for Russell and his last... There's going to be a few, a few claps today because I think there's some acknowledgement we need to do. I mean, 100,000 members and Lisa and the team have done another great job. The back end of the season for us, we increased our attendance, which for a team that was out of contention, the St Kilda game, the Carlton game, and then of course the last game with, with Josh, and it was a really special day. It was one of the great days. We didn't win, and you know, that's not good enough from our point of view, but the fans, the members to turn up like they did, fantastic effort and really appreciate it from, from a players and coaching point of view. So thank you to the, to the members to the board, Niz and the executives. I've had a couple of board meetings this year, probably more than your standard season, but the, the guidance and advice I've had has been first class and they've been very supportive. Um, it's a growth mindset and they've, they've, had, they've had our backs. So thank you to those guys. Um, our football department, it's been a tough year and um, in particular Gavin Bell, um, stepping up when he needed to and working through our department, our strength and conditioning crew. You've had a tough year. It's been multiple injuries, COVID, all the things you've had to deal with um, and, and you've been first class. We, we have not deviated from what we wanted to set out to do and we haven't had the success but the department's been tight and it's the first thing you need to lean on. So thank you to everyone in our footy department. We're losing a couple. Uh, Geordie Stairs, uh, has been our strength coach for a number of years, seen a lot of success. Good luck to you, mate, and Kat, with uh, your future endeavours. Uh, and Laura Page, she's the heartbeat of our, our footy department. And um, you're off to a new adventure, uh, Laura. It's been uh, fantastic to have you. Um, I hope you're not leaving because of me. <laughs> but we, we've, uh, we're going to miss you. Um, you're off to Montreal, I think, with, with Alan. Um, I'm, he's not here not, again tonight for the 12th year in a row, I think. But... Thank, thank you for everything you've done. Uh, can we a uh, round of applause for, for, for Laura and, and Geordie? Um, unfortunately, if we've got 29 to choose from, uh, Rob Wiley's got five to choose from for Waffle Eagles. So the poor bugger, um, he's been working really hard. Uh, every Monday, he's got a smile on the face. He's, he's a little bit angry Monday. So Tuesday, he's got a smile on his face. Um, the, the Waffle Eagles boys play with so much spirit and, and, and energy and enthusiasm. And then you've got the COVID top-up players, which we've, we've, we've lent on this year. I think we're the only club to do so. And it's not just the five or six guys that, that debuted for the footy club. And they're, they're Eagles for life. But it's the five or six others that turned up to training, that came as travellers, that supported the team at the drop of a hat, gave up Waffle Games to be with us. Um, thank you so much for the first half of the year to, to do your best to help uh, get a team on the park and, and, and play with tremendous spirit. So thank you to those guys. Can we give a round of applause to those guys too? Sorry. Um, I mean, the AFLW program, uh, we've mentioned it a couple of times, but what I've seen them train. They're, they're, they're fit. They're, they're ready to go. They're playing tomorrow. Um, if you haven't got a membership, get on board. Um, it's going to be exciting. And, and good luck to Mickey Pryor and, and the ladies. Um, and all best to you guys tomorrow. Um, you probably don't realise, you, footy moves real quick, yeah? So before the season started, we lost a 200-game All-Australian in Brad Shepherd, And it, you just forget, you know, he, uh, we've missed him this year and he hasn't had the acknowledgement that he's probably deserved this time of year. So thanks, Shep, for everything you've done for our club. 200 games, All-Australian. Couldn't replace you this year. We couldn't find, you know, someone to do what you've done for us. It's, it's been a tremendous career and good luck for everything you do in the future, mate. Um, Nikki and the kids, um, no one sledged me more than my family this year. It's been brutal. Uh, I've been sitting in the garage for, for hours not wanting to get out of the car. I mean, even last 
I think it was last night I was talking to Miller and Ali, my daughters, and I said, oh, this has been, it's probably been the hardest season for, for me personally as a coach and as a player. And, and Miller said, it's the hardest season so far, Dad. And I think, oh, <laughs> thanks for another clip on the way, on the way through. But um, no, they keep me grounded. Um, it's been, I'm actually really surprised. They've actually held together quite well. So thank you so much to, to my family and Nikki. I love you heaps. Um, we've got a, a trademark award we do every year. Um, it's, it's reflective of efforts and roles that we have within the club. The players vote on it. And um, this year, by the length of the straight, um, the winner was Tom Barras. So congratulations, Tom. Um, obviously, the season has not panned out the way we thought it would. Um, and some things were unavoidable. We just couldn't control some of the things. And some of the things we could. And we've got to learn and grow and get better. Um, strong clubs stick together and stay united. And I, I truly believe um, the culture is built off unity and the sense of belonging. And we've got that. That's there. I, I can see it. It's, it's stronger than it's been for a few years. But we do need to get healthy. We do need to get fitter stronger, stay connected, and we do need to demand more from each other. And that's already started. Um, I can't wait for next year. I know I said this last year, but um, for all the guys who win awards tonight, all the best. Um, and I hope everyone has a really good night. Appreciate it. Thank you. Can I get that word? I do have something extra to... I'm presenting the first award tonight. So it's the goal kicking award, which I haven't been a massive fan of, like, how do you win that from full back? But um, that's for another time. Um, this guy who's won it, he's won it for the eighth time. He's past summer. Um, he's kicked 712 goals, which is a fair effort. Um, he's won it with 47 goals this year, and it's JK. So just hang off for a second, one second. Um, Josh, thank you from everyone in this room, mate. You are a heart and soul player. You epitomise West Coast. Uh, you've put your body on the line, um, your, your mind, your spirit, everything you've given to the club. You owe us nothing, mate. We could not be more proud to see you come through and have a career like you had. And it epitomised everything on the weekend uh, against Adelaide, how it was handled and what the club did for you, mate. The biggest memory I have, the greatest memory, was 2015 prelim. Um, halfway through the second quarter, if anyone can rem remember, we are playing north. It was four points to 22 there. We hadn't kicked a goal and we needed something special. And this particular clip I'm going to show, it had um, Shep in it and he chased down Drew. So that's a bonus, Drew, that you got chased down. <laughs> and it finishes, with, it finishes with JK. And the one clip it just epitomises him and what he's done for us. It's courage. It's standing up in big moments. It's doing the best thing for the club at the right time. And while we play that clip, um, I might get JK and Lauren to come up, say a few words, and we love you, mate, and thank you so much for everything you've done for our footy club. Thank you. He bounced to waste a bit of time. Petrie over the top, gets a good sit, and he is away. Shepard on the chase. Petrie's got it. Good tackle. Did he take him forward? No, said the umpire. And maybe the West Coast Eagles might split them back open the other way. It's in the hands of Hutchings. Kennedy's in good position here. Coming across. Oh! Big collision. Look at the courage of Kennedy. He's going to play on Josh Kennedy. Mate wastes no time, runs to 45. Is this the West Coast first? Josh Kennedy, the Goldman medal winner, kicks the Eagles first. It took a quarter and six minutes. Oh, thanks, Simo. I know you, you wanted to... Here, do you want to come? Lauren's hated this. She's, for years, she's looked up and said, oh, if you ever retire, I don't want to be that person that stands at the back with the flowers. So... If you say a speech, keep it short, because uh, I don't want to be standing up here with this big vase of flowers. But So I'm going to try and keep it short. I've, uh, I said a couple of speeches. Of, uh, when I told the boys that I was finishing, I was able to, um, I suppose, thank a lot of them in there. Um, I've got tonight, and I'll have my testimonial as well, which I'll finish off. So uh, for tonight, it's going to be mainly for just the people in the room who I probably won't be able to uh, thank uh, moving forward from here. Um, so the boys, Simo and Niz, I've, I've kind of already thanked and the staff that, that were there. Um, but I'll double up on a couple, and I'll start with Loz, most important. 
Um, she'll roll her eyes here because I've said this many times, but as footballers, we're, we're very selfish. We, um, we want to be the best. Uh, we're 24-7 on trying to be the best we can be, uh, and we become quite selfish on, on trying to achieve our goals. And uh, to do that, you need balance, and the only way to get balance is from the people around you, and uh, they create that. Uh, we're selfish, uh, being, being so, uh, selfless, sorry. And um, Loz has done that for well, nearly 14 years now, um, and I can't thank her enough because I wouldn't have been able to be here without um, uh, her, you know, doing what she does. So a big round of applause for, for Lauren and all the partners and wives, girlfriends out there of, of AFL footballers and professional sport athletes. To my family, uh, who are just down over here, um, Thank you so much uh, to Mum. Uh, she drove down, uh, well, yeah, drove down to Perth, Northampton to Perth, constantly um, with development squads, uh, state squads that I was lucky enough to make and, and be involved with. And uh, she never said no. Uh, we didn't have any money, but we were somehow got down here uh, twice a week. Um, yeah, her fully committing to, I suppose, me uh, wanting to play AFL. Um, she's racked up a credit card that probably my stepdad has no idea about. So. Um, she said one day, if I ever go, you need to pay that off. Uh, so I don't know if that's been paid off yet. Josh doesn't know about that, so that's my stepdad, but he does now. But uh, we've cleared that debt, so it's all good. Um, but thank you to Mum, thank you to Josh, my stepdad. Uh, you guys have been uh, truly amazing. Um, the support you've given me in, in helping me achieve um, where I want to get to. Uh, I wouldn't be able to stand up here without you guys. Uh, and to my sisters as well, um, thank you so much for the support over the many years. So thank you, guys. Um, to my coaches, um, and I'll keep it short here, but with, with Woosh giving me the opportunity to come over here and play, um, you know, the things he taught me in terms of, um, I suppose, the resilience, the discipline, uh, setting goals and being able to achieve them, I can't thank him enough. He really helped me set up my career as a young kid. And that was Summer as well. Summer was a massive part of my career. Uh, Longy and JG really helped me through that mid middle patch and really helped me, I suppose, become a consistent player. And, and Webby, who's out there tonight, thank you so much, mate, for um, the last few years. Uh, you've been able to help me tackle, I suppose, this new age of, of defenders that have come through, um, these Oscar Allen types, where they're tall, they're quick, they're fast, they're a lot stronger uh, than the knees, old knees were, and we, we had to come up with ways to try and beat them. So I want to thank you so much, mate, because um, you really got me through the last few years. So thank you to all my coaches over the 17 years. To the volunteers, um, this football club, you know, we have a lot of staff, we have a lot of support, um, but the volunteers that come through every day to help us out, um, I can't thank you enough. You know, to, to Gearbox, to Dave, um, Gearbox, mate, you've, uh, you make all the equipment down there, um, being able to put those uh, jumping bags on your back. Um, I can't jump, but I was able to take hangers on you early on in my career. And um, you really help a lot of the players uh, get better. So thank you, Gearbox, and thank you to everyone, all the volunteers that come through. Um, and that pushes right through to the guys in the property, uh, Teddy, Sparksy, uh, pack it up and getting all the away stuff going, uh, all the equipment, everything's always constant. Uh, I'm going to miss Teddy swimming 20 k's a week in the pool, every second week eating half the buffet on the away trips. Um, <laughs> it's one thing I'm going to miss. And tomorrow, um, who started out, I suppose, with us and then uh, obviously became our chaplain, but um, over the course of my career, he was the one that kicked the most balls out to me when I was having shots and having practice shots. So thank you tomorrow. Um, moving to medical, which I need to say a massive big thank you. I probably wouldn't have played uh, this long uh, without you guys. The docs, Rob Moore, Jared, Alex, Casey, and even Hendo uh, gave me a few jabs there towards the end. So thank you, mate, for getting me through. Um, I forgot the physios when I thanked all the boys. And to Paul Tucker, uh, Mark Finnecane, Chris Perkins, Tex, um, you guys, Finney, mate, you've, um, you've done so much for me over my career. It's an, um, I can't thank you enough. You guys put everything into helping us uh, become the best we can be. Um, and the injuries I've had, you've, you've helped, me, helped me got through. And I have a special mention to Stevie G, Stephen Garavina, who pretty much over seven years was pretty much my full-time physio. Um, I pretty much should have paid him uh, half his wage because he really um, did a lot for me and it was, it was truly amazing. So I wouldn't be here today without you. And then obviously to Steve and Tommy who come on this year, Thank you so much for your support, mate. We, um, we can't do what we do without you guys, so thank you. Um, I'm nearly done, I'm nearly done.
sweating up. Uh, I'll double up with his trainers um, to, to Goon, Shares, Marty, Toddy, and Yip. Um, guys, thank you. Goons, especially. Um, I've trusted you for so long, taping my ankles. Uh, every time someone else taped them, I thought I was going to roll my ankle and come out with a syndesmosis injury. So I want to thank you, Goons, and Marty, for all your support, the extra work you do to help me get off a game day. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. So a massive thank you to you guys. Um, yeah, another clap. I'm going to finish here with, um, obviously with the footy club, um, you know, from the board down to Russ, um, thank you so much uh, for all the support you've, you've given me. Um, also, I suppose, uh, the support you give to this footy club. We, we've got such a successful footy club. Uh, we have been for many years, and it, and it starts from the top down. So thank you, guys. Um, the events team, uh, the last game was, was truly amazing. To, from the time I said we were going to finish, um, to the build-up to it, to the week, uh, to the game day, it was unbelievable. Um, the Blink-182 playlist, my favourite band, was absolutely unbelievable, and to the point where I saw all my mates and family after, and that's all they loved. They loved the Blink-182 playlist. They didn't care that I've kicked eight. They were more worried about the music after. So um, thank you so much for putting on that that event because it was something that I'll, I'll cherish forever. So thank you to the events team uh, for all you've done. And lastly, to the fans, um, huge, huge thank you. The support you've given me over my career, I, I can't thank you enough. Um, I've said this many times, but as I suppose performers on the field, uh, we, we feel like we give a lot to you guys and we entertain you guys. Um, but over the course of my career of 17 years, you guys have given me so much and there's been so many uh, I suppose, memories that I'll have and I'll never forget and I wouldn't have had them without you guys in the stands. So thank you to all the fans. Um, that last game was truly amazing. Uh, it's about to walk around and see you guys. So I can't thank you enough. Um, all the very best for next year to the boys. Um, you guys, I have no doubt you'll be back bigger and stronger. Um, our club always bounces out of these situations. Um, so thank you, everyone. Have a good night tonight. And I'll finish on the words I finished with uh, when I talked to the boys. Um, it's, a, it's an old saying from an old fella back in, in Munimaya, Trevor Corbett Sr., um, old Kudja. Make sure you're big, hard, and if you're good, be bloody good at it. Thank you.